particularly like is the atmosphere here. It's quite incredible. And obviously I play mostly jazz and uh, the audiences at Clonto are quite used to opera. So it's always quite nice to present uh, sort of a slightly different music for them. But what I love about this theatre is the acoustics. The piano is spectacular and uh, we always have a great time. People are very fearful of jazz particularly, they don't understand what it is. I always try and encourage people to come to hear all sorts of music, you know, with Clonta obviously come and hear the opera because a lot of jazz fans should come and hear opera. The fact that there's so many people tonight is, is a really great thing. When you watch a performer that's obviously loving what they do, then uh, they're going to, that is a, like a magnet. I'm into the more sort of mainstream type jazz, you know, and obviously the great American songbook, the Gershwin, the Cole Porter, Irving Berlin, Jerome Kern, all those lovely tunes lend themselves really well to jazz. So you play the tune, then you do a little improvisation, then you play the tune again. It's very simple, really. And it's always nice when people go away, so, you know, I, I didn't really like jazz, but now I do. And if I, if, if I get one person saying that to me, and I'm, hopefully I will, because even at Ronnie Scott's where I work, people come there because of the fame of the building and they don't necessarily know what they're going to hear. But with live music, when you hear jazz, it always tends to work better live than in a recording or on the pair of loudspeakers. So I think it's, it's just, if people come away saying I had a great evening, I'd be more than happy.